After making my video on the water totem quest chain, I got a lot of suggestions that the aquatic form quest chain for druids was even worse, or at least just as difficult. So I decided to take a look at it to see if that was indeed true or not. Now both Alliance and Horde have different quest chains, but you basically have to do the same thing just in different locations. I'll go over both of them, but I'll start with the Alliance version first. The quest will be available at level 16, and send you to remote parts of the world to gather things, and druids do not get travel form until level 30, nor mounts until 40, so you have to walk everywhere on foot. No matter which faction you start on, both will send you to Moonglade for the first part of the quest. Druids learn to teleport to Moonglade at level 10, so this is no problem. Once at Moonglade, you'll be asked to retrieve a bauble from the bottom of the lake, and be given a 30 minute timer to complete the task. This one's pretty easy, as all you do is go to the lake in the middle of the zone, swim to the bottom, and then get the item needed. Then you have to head over to Remulus and use the bauble which completes the quest. After that, you turn it into the quest giver who is right next to Remulus. She will then send you on to the next part of the quest, which is to collect two halves of the Pendant of the Sea Lion. But she won't tell you where they are, and instead tells you to talk to the locals in Moonglade to find their locations. Eventually, you'll find out that one is located in Darkshore, and the other is located in Westfall. The Darkshore one is probably the easiest, as you can just take the flight path from Moonglade to Auberdyne, and then run north to the location. After swimming for a bit, you'll come into contact with two large rocks, and a bunch of levels 17 and 13 thrashers swimming around them. If doing this at level, you'll have to be careful to avoid them or only fight one at a time, but it's a relatively short swim down for the item you need. Assuming you knew where it was, mind you. Remember, it was intended for you to figure out where these items were located by asking NPCs for clues and figuring it out for yourself, which I imagine was quite difficult as this is kind of a farish swim from shore. Now for the next part, Westfall. Getting to Westfall for the first time as a night elf on foot was probably the most time consuming part of this process. So what you had to do was go back to Aberdeen and go to the docks and then take the boat to Menethil Harbor. Later on in WoW this boat was changed to go to Stormwind, but in vanilla WoW it was to Menethil in the wetlands. Once you got there you were going to have to run through the wetlands which was a level 20-ish zone. So there were tons of nearly level 20 mobs everywhere, which at level 16 did give you some trouble. So you had to be careful as you ran across the wetlands to Dun Algas, a little mountain path needed to get to Dun Moreau. And in the mountain path were level 20 orc guards, who were almost impossible to avoid and could kill you easily if you weren't very careful. But once you got past that and made it to Dun Moreau, all you had to do was run to Ironforge, and then take the tram to Stormwind. From Stormwind, you could run through Elland Forest down to Westfall. Luckily, all of these places are in your level zone, so not as dangerous as the wetlands. Once in Westfall, you had to swim to this location on the map, which was in the Fatigue Zone, and you had to swim very far down to the box with the item you needed. There were also elite sharks that path this area, so you had to keep high alert, as they could easily kill you. It was very easy to die of fatigue when you got too close to it too. But luckily there was an air bubble fissure right next to the lockbox that you could swim to instead to regather your air, and then get the item from the box. Once you got the item, you could then simply teleport back to Moonglade and turn in the quest. And now you know how to use aquatic form, which ironically would have been very useful for doing the quest and is incredibly useless outside of it, as most things did not take place in water in Vanilla WoW. Now, for the Horde version, it was a lot easier. The first part was the same as the Alliance version, in that you had to swim to the bottom of the lake in Moonglade and get the item within 30 minutes. Then you had to ask around for clues as to where you could find the two pieces for the next part of the quest. One was located in the north of the Barrens in the middle of the little sludge pool, with the only thing to look out for was an elite sludge that path nearby, which was easily avoided. The next item was a lot harder to find and was located off the coast of Silver Pine Forest. So you needed to run to Orgrimmar, take the Zeppelin to Undercity, and then run to this point on the map. 
The only real indicator of where the box is located for people who didn't know exactly where to go was to look at the shipwreck boat on the shore and then swim directly out from that point and hit the edge of the fatigue zone and then swim down. Then, once you got the item, either res if you died of fatigue or drowning damage and then teleport to Moonglade to turn it in and you're done. No running halfway across the world through high level zones like the Alliance counterpart. So, it was much easier. And that's it for as far as the aquatic form quests go. On a scale of harder than the water totem class quests, I'd give this one a 7 water totems out of 10. Call of Water was infinitely more terrible than this one, but that doesn't mean it wasn't still a pain in the ass nonetheless, especially the Alliance portion. Eventually, Blizzard changed the boat in Darkshore to go to Stormwind instead of the Wetlands, which made the Alliance portion just as easy as the Horde counterpart, so it was nerfed a little bit later on. But it was still a lot of traveling for a low-level quest that gave you arguably your most useless form, especially since you had to walk the whole way. So what class quest do you think is worse than this one? I still doubt anything is worse than the Call of Water quest chain. Let me know, and if the class quest comes close to these two, or god forbid is actually worse, I might make a video about it. Also, if you hadn't seen my video on the Water Totem class quest yet, I'll link it at the end of this video right now. <laughs>